You're watching the Moto Z2 play disassembly. Okay, the first thing you need to do, remove the SIM tray. It's on top of the phone. Okay, next go ahead and heat up the front of the phone where the screen is. And then once you heat it up, use the pry tool to pry the screen off from the frame. Start from the top left corner of the phone. And just work your way around gently so you don't break the screen. All right, now you're gonna try and lift the screen from the left side up. All right, now you're gonna have two cables that are connecting to the board from the screen. One is for the screen, which is on top, and on the bottom you have the fingerprint scanner cable. But before you remove those, first disconnect the battery, which is gonna be this red and black wire cable on the bottom. Take off the plastic protector or sticker. And then go ahead and pop up the connector for the battery. Let me give you guys a closer look. This connector right here. Once you got the battery disconnected, go ahead and disconnect the screen. Pop the lock on the connector for the screen. Slide it, the flex cable out. Do the same on the bottom, there's a yellow protective tape. Go ahead and remove the tape first. And then disconnect the lock by popping it up and disconnect the cable. Now you're left with the board, the battery, the cameras and everything else. Okay, now you have 18 T4 screws throughout the phone you're gonna have to remove. They're gonna be black and silver colored. So go ahead and remove all those. Now go ahead and remove the top plastic assembly, lift it up and right away from the adhesive. Your earpiece is going to be underneath it, the earpiece speaker. And then go ahead and remove the bottom plastic. And your vibrator is going to be underneath this one. Okay, next in the top corner, next to the SIM reader slot, there's a cable that goes from underneath the SIM, SIM reader to the side of the phone. Just on with some adhesive, so go ahead and pry that off. Okay. Once you got that off, you go ahead and lift the board from the bottom. Lift it up, and it's gonna come off. Use your main board.
Now one thing that's nice is the SIM tray or the SIM reader is actually this time user replaceable. So in case you actually happen to bend or break any of the pins in the SIM reader right over here, you can replace it because it comes right off. Let's put it on with a connector. So that's one good thing because I've come across many of these phones over the past that the pins on the inside of the reader break and then it's rendered useless pretty much. So at that time you have to actually get the main board replaced or somehow get the SIM reader over here repaired by a professional shop. But one thing you can't replace is a charger port. I don't know why they made it in a way so it's not user replaceable. However, the headphone jack is also replaceable. So I could just order that part if it goes bad and just replace it. And you got your camera over here, which is connected to the main board. Disconnect that tab and you can remove the camera. And the front facing camera is connected from the back right here. You can lift this tab and replace that camera as well. Now on the frame over here, you have your battery. In order to replace the battery, all you gotta do is lift this tab right here. This black tab right here. And then you heat it up from the back a little bit and you pry the battery up and you can replace the battery. Now you don't have to take the main board out to replace the battery, but you can if you want to and make your job a little bit easier. All right, let's go ahead and reassemble the phone. So we're gonna take the main board. We're gonna put the top in first. Make sure the battery cable doesn't get stuck underneath. Let's pop it in place. And then put this cable that goes on the side of the frame that's coming from the bottom of the SIM reader, just back in place. Press it against the side of the frame so it reattaches itself. Push the camera back in. Next, go ahead and put the bottom plastic that has the vibrator on it back in place. Next, go ahead and put the top plastic, which has the earpiece, earpiece speaker over here. Put that back in. Now, a lot of people always ask me about these plastic pieces, the one on the bottom and the one on the top. These pieces have antenna lines running through them. So sometimes when you have Wi-Fi issues or any type of antenna issue, those are the first things I'll look at to make sure they're firmly touching the board. The gray ones, these lines over here, the light tan looking color lines, those are the antennas that run through these plastic pieces. Now go ahead and put the screws back in place. All right, now once you have all the screws in place, go ahead and reconnect the screen cable and the fingerprint scanner cable back to the main board. All right, once you have the cables in place, go ahead and put the yellow plastic protective stickers back on. Back over the connector. Now go ahead and attach the battery cable back. And put the tape over that. The old tape. Now I'll go ahead and put the screen back in place. Okay, now I'll go ahead and power on the phone. And there you have it.